<laughs> Molly, Molly in, in the, the mouse. mouse. Hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Kathy. That's Kathy. My <laughs> name's Molly. Together, we're linen and scraps. That we are. Huh. It's a video about mostly cross-stitching, but oh boy. Kathy's delving oh. and playing a little bit into the I'm paperwork. I'm dipping my toes. Hence, hence the word scraps. Yeah. She's And she's yeah. a master at it already. No. I'm, a, I'm like... No, Molly's Shane. the master. I learned from a pro. <clears throat> okay. It is fun, though. It does now, uh, take me away from my cleaning responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, like that was hard. But uh, <laughs> anyway, what was I going to say, oh, Kathy? Shoot, I don't know. We're back. We, we recorded just two weeks ago yeah. or so. Yeah. And I felt like, you know, we t you know, talked for an hour and something. Yeah. Which is yeah we don't have a lot left. That's so this might be a little bit not quite as full as the last one, but we have some things to talk about that we thought were worthy. Some to, pretty charts, some pretty yeah, things. to bring up and what have you. Now Nashville is is Nashville this week? It's I think the seventh ish, fifth to okay, seventh. So okay, so it's coming definitely up. coming up. Coming I up. did place an order with uh, the attic, um, all by Jean, and I, I the last thing that I added to I I apologize to whoever was reading the emails that I'm sorry, but can I add one more on? I promise this will be the last yeah. one. And the kind, kind person got back to me. I think it was Mary. And she said, you can add on as many times as you want. Absolutely. I'm like, I'm absolutely. Like, um, and, Kathy, I am not a Nashville needle work market person or mm -hmm. something, but I've watched some videos. Yeah. And one of them was Lindy Stitches, who is, she's a designer as well as a YouTuber uh, and has, a, I think, an online store that you can buy things from. And all. Uh -huh. But she has a very comprehensive video uh, on um, the pattern she's going to carry in her store. It's not yeah. the entire market. Right, right, right. So if, just what if her taste care. and what she and wants she to kind of goes measure. through tit for tat what she likes about it the colors mm -hmm. and and her expressions about this one is knocked out of the park and the way oh she's <laughs> the funniest thing. The she's hilariously she's, funny yeah the way she says a lot of fun to watch but so. what I was going to tell you is what she talks about is uh, all of the stores that go to the market have a deadline that was given to them by the oh sure people of how many patterns do you think you're going to want of this or how right many so that they can print and bring that many right. you know can you you know i got into thinking about but this. they can always add more the weight of paper well you ought to know mm -hmm. is ridiculous i mm. mean your bedroom's probably sinking in or well that's <laughs> a, that this wall. over here is a yeah. closet of paper. of paper it's full of paper and then behind me you see all those dyes on that the dies they weigh a ton. a ton i mean like each little container is i have a, a few ton. dyes now that i've collected since i got into I think so well she's all proud of herself <laughs> um that are i looked at my little box and i'm like oh yes here i thought it was you know lessening things on my shelf and i'm actually going to be adding mm -hmm. some weight to my but shelf. they're pretty wait till you see Okay, Might now, Kathy, you yes. know, for, <clears throat> first I want to step back, and um, Kathy, like Kathy says, there's always a story. There's always a story. Can I tell a story first? Yeah. Okay. Um, first, I want to thank everybody for, those of you who come back, who yeah. have listened to us and come we'll back. Up with I, us. I feel like they're our friends. You know, they're <laughs> my friends out there and all. And um, thank you all for coming back. Those of you who are new, good to see you. <laughs> hope, you know, hope you enjoy it and come back again. And uh, like, subscribe, and share. Okay, but anyway, uh, that was enough of that preaching but anyway i was going to tell you uh i love every comment that everybody writes you know mm -hmm. but i left a comment on a floss tubers floss tube the other day did you leave a nice comment oh yeah okay and uh she responded and i, I wanted her to sign it and send it to me i'm gonna, pr oh, I'm gonna screen print it what it, what, what it was it? carol the saw box oh, oh wonderful yeah i felt like a you know like fan a girl, girl i know <laughs> I want you to sign it and send it to me. No, I'm just I'm gonna screen print it and make a scrapbook page out of it. But uh, one I'm gonna start off with, if you don't mind. Do you have any haul at all this week? No, I my haul is in scraps, dyes, and a couple of sheets oh, of. That's nothing. Yeah. Okay. That's nothing. What I have, have no haul. No, not yet. No. But I couldn't believe what like she answered me back at the next year. Like, oh my god, I was so I was in shock. Yeah, because oh, I've always sweet. teased, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. There's, you know, I'm, I'm sure I would love all of y'all if I knew you. But do a floss tube so we can get to know you. Yeah. But those people who do floss tubes that I fall in love with, um, I want to go. Well, to, I want somebody just to sit near them and, and steal all of their yeah. magic. You know, it's like Carol's like the startup, if you will, of floss tubes. You know, there's a couple that grandfather this whole thing into. Being yeah, she's been doing it for a, for a long, too. long time, and you yeah. know, people have kind of followed foot. But she's got a great following, and 
her husband's a stitch when he offers love, the coffee cup. Or and I love their sense of humor. Plays the game. What number are we on? Yeah. And he's like, one less than last time. Yeah. <laughs> one more. But anyway, uh, so. But in her style. Yeah. You know, I just love her yeah, style. And, and while my home is not decorated in that pre or yeah. pre style. Her I taste so are love very, it. Yeah. Oh, I love very it. Similar. So anyway, <laughs> having said all those good things about Carol, the little lady showed some things I had to have. I literally was in the living room. And she had stop a the YouTube. Yeah. Get up. Come run to the craft room computer because I'm not as great on my phone as I should be kind of thing. I don't uh -huh. know if my phone was near me. But this was the pattern that she showed, and I had to have it. Did she show it for spring in her doll ball? Do you recall? So she had some cute ones in her doll ball. They were precious, all of them. Yeah. But I don't remember if that was one in there or not. I don't remember if it was framed or a pillow, but it was darling. So I had to have it. Thank you for that. I'm down on a different road. I got to get back where I came from. Here, okay. Um, it's, uh, what does it say? Basket of Cherries Garden Club Series Number 1. Right. Wait. That means there's a, Garden Series Club Number 2. Number I, 2. I, I think or it's three. 8. I think there's eight of them, Molly. I have them all. Well, having said that, hold that thought for a minute. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can do this real quick. Oh, where'd my other one go? I lost one. Here it is. Here the it four. Is. Yeah, you're okay. good. Um, so this is Garden Series number one, and it's called Basket of Cherries, yep. and I love it. And Carol, thank you so much for sharing that so that I could then... It looks very springy. Add this to my stash, and it's little. So I'm uh -huh. thinking, you know, whatever. You can crank that out. Okay, now when we were trying to guess how many uh, Garden Club series charts there are, 11. I also had to buy Fairy Garden. So that says 11 on it. Which so says it's number 11. <clears throat> but isn't oh, that sure. pretty? Oh, sure. Look at the back. You need me. Well, I feel stupid now. <laughs> Thank you. You need me. She didn't know before just now either. Oh, they're showing a little thing. Well, that's only nine. I kept up in the number. Is that nine? Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, anyway, uh, there's more than more than I knew. So the two. moral to the story is I'm not going to want them all, but I'm going to want more than two of them. Yeah. Those so are pretty. It, but isn't this pretty? Yeah. And like Carol had mentioned, they were all initially stitched on different colors linen, as you can see here. And I did Which see I love. one lady, when this these first became available, stitched it on different color linen <clears throat> and made a beautiful box. A square box. Each side had had a. Uh, I just, oh, how pretty! Like a different think, color fabric and everything. Uh -huh. If you think I'm, I just, I'm so stupid. So two questions that people were asking. Don't ask me why I thought of this while we were talking about Blackbird. But two people asked me about my patterns, and I had them ready to go. Do you think I brought them? Oh heck no. Anyway, hopefully I can answer that for you. But okay, the box was very pretty, and you can imagine it all in different color linen. Yeah, and I like the cool. name Fairy Garden. <clears throat> yeah, I do too. Okay. I do too. Um, the other one that I had to buy is from the Loose... Oh, there's two more and then I'll be over. Uh, loose Feather Series. And I have bought a couple of Loose Feathers already, which I wanted to start in March kind of thing. Or at least put a couple of stitches in. Uh, but So this one... I love the house. And what's it called? Hold on. The summer beaming forth. The summer beaming forth. Isn't so when it gets hotter than heck here and your husband wants to move you, you'll have to try to get yourself a yellow house. I love this yellow house. <laughs> I, I just adore it. It's very so anyway, And what I'm loving is they all look little to me. Yeah. Okay. And well, the, what is the stitch called? And then the fourth one I bought uh, was called 91. The Last Right Berries. It's part of the Loose Feather series, of which I already have two of. Only two. But I had to buy this one. The Last Right Berries. So Carol... They had gummy. They had gummy. Yeah, I had to have these. Small. 65 by 65. I'm going to be chasing some <clears throat> others. Now, so, <clears throat> can I say one more thing? On yeah. these, I went online trying to find, um, you know, one store had one, one store had one, one store had one, another store had oh, one. Had I was on. trying to find a store that had, you know, if you're going to pay more shipping, you might as well find mm -hmm. it from one location kind of thing. I got these from the Farmer's Attic on a... Uh, I was going to say YouTube, but I was going to say Etsy is what I mean to say, Etsy. And um, I was a little, because mm, her shipping, you know, she had it on shipping, she had it on shipping. But the minute I hit the button, I got an email saying that she was refunding my shipping on all but the one. You know, so oh, it was like, oh, how sweet is that? Nice. And came, like, I ordered mm -hmm. them 
Thursday and they came Wednesday. No, uh, an hour and yeah. <laughs> Thursday and they came Monday. So that's pretty good. Right off the bat. Yeah. And I don't know where she is. Let me find mm -hmm. out. If, can you see where it is? I don't know where she is. She's on Etsy. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she comes, ships from. Not from the shop. Nope. I it doesn't. Uh, Springville, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's so, pretty far away from us. But I'm telling you, like, dang, yeah. it came. So, Farmer's yeah. Attic is going to be one of my new go-to places. She might have some older patterns. She had, And she had some pretty fabulous. Kind of difficult. Ada. So, speaking of patterns, and I apologize, I had it in an envelope to bring, and <clears throat> somebody asked, the book of squares that I showed on our oh. last video, it's 31 by 31. Each square is 31 by 31. Wow. So, yeah, tiny. So somebody did ask that. And the other thing <clears throat> somebody asked was about the witch in the moon. I can't tell you how far long ago I got that pattern. I will probably share on my Instagram maybe a picture of it and where I got I did get it on Etsy. Mm -hmm. And from what I'm hearing on the or reading on the comments, rather, that they're having trouble finding it. So she maybe is gone. I mean, mm -hmm. it's very possible you might have to look at the secondary market although when you do buy pdfs i know that that's kind of frowned upon um to purchase a pdf on the secondary market oh because it could be somebody actually just copied yeah them. so you got to be careful of that too but okay. i will do my best to get that answered for you but two people did and i apologize i meant to grab that but i was just so excited about so many other things mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so, so <clears throat> kathy what what do you have to because i have like four things five things maybe yeah, so why don't you go ahead and start because i think I, she has one to share yeah with us i stitch. have um i as you all know stitch on one thing at a time um and i've been cruising on my cranberry sampler and i will tell you that little cranberry bog in the middle she's going to show that in a minute and yeah. i'm going to try to hold the stitching of the bog yeah, close it is magical i ripped the way it out it was done. I mean, it's 46 count and i did rip it out so every other square is one cranberry one blue cranberry blue cranberry blue throughout the entire little bog so that it looks like cranberries are floating on the water it is beautiful but it did not look nice the i ended up ripping it out and finding a different yeah i ripped it out i i am i'm way backwards miss flossy <laughs> i'm way oh over i have there. my things up you can't oh, see them in the oh. picture i don't think they're up there but i love my mrs just, flossy is always forward i mean always forward i knew i would be happy with it and i'm like i'm not gonna stitch this sampler and not be happy so i boycotted i thought of y'all weekend long when i was ripping that thing out so i called <laughs> kathy the yeah. other day I am stitching on and expected to have it finished a week ago. Because By my calculations, it. I was going to have it finished already. We're still in February at this yeah. minute. Yeah. In, in YouTube time, we're still in February. I was going to have this thing finished and have another one almost. Some of these smaller things. Honey, I can just whip those out. However, this is the Summer Bees. And it's from uh, Twin Peak Primitives. And I think it's this was in an older magazine, uh, the 2022 Summer uh, punch needle and primitive stitcher you know magazine i get digital copies um so 2022 is not that long ago oh. but it's being released at this market i believe or was already re anyway it you, can, released, you can yeah, get it immediately, immediately okay later. but it's a darn little thing mm. however i've heard of people putting um things in time out mm -hmm. and i know with my child who's now you know a 39 year old young man handsome as all get out but anyway uh I put him in timeout when I was a little disappointed with how, no, that's not how we do it in this family. We're going to put you in timeout for a minute until you make a good decision. Well, I had to put this thing in timeout. It's not its fault. The chart is fabulous. The colors are fabulous. Everything's good about it. But, um, you know, Did you lose garbage count? in, garbage out, you know, kind of thing on the computer world. Um, Did you lose count? Did the frog come and pay you a visit? Well, what, what had happened? I was uh -oh. watching people like Carol, and I'm stitching and watching, stitching and watching. Uh -huh. Like and I look down like, well, that doesn't look very right. Very distracting. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Crud. So anyway, this is how far I, long I am. I should have been finished already. But this top row, through should've, no fault of its own, should have six could've. times. Six times. That's painful. And oh my That's God, painful. Kathy, it was like, what am I doing? What I know I can count one, two, three. Yeah, I can count. That it, hurts. It hurts. And what happened was one of them. I have a mistake at the bottom. <laughs> at the very bottom. I skipped a stitch. I see it. No, just 
<laughs> punch her. I'm gonna punch her. Just kidding. Oh no, YouTube, don't fuss at me. Anyway, I had I missed a stitch at the bottom. So when I got to the top, I realized, well, this isn't working out. So, okay, well, I'm gonna make it work. No, no problem. It was five on one side and six on the other spacing. So I thought, well, that's all right. I'll just do five and five. That'll take care of that missing stitch. No, not a worry. So that was one of the froggings. But it has an excuse. Set number one. Set number one. Well, then number <laughs> two, got to watching some false tubes or Sherlock Holmes or whatever the heck I was watching. I just miscounted. What the heck? So, rip it out. Well, I'm going on. Well, then one time I'm like, oh my God, I've got another mistake. This is ridiculous. So, I rip back to where I was supposed to make the correction. Uh -huh. But I didn't rip out the mistake. Oh. I left it in. But I was, one, I was one stitch away from it. And I go to bed. <laughs> and I wake up the next day and I you stitch the whole thing to the end again. And then I realize, I didn't take out the mistake. So, oh. that was number five. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I rip it back out. You better like that pattern. And the sixth time is the charm. <laughs> Must be the third time is the charm. That's but anyway, right. so it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to love it. That's beautiful. And I'm going to. That's very beautiful. It better make me breakfast tomorrow morning <laughs> is all I can say. But uh, it's going to be a, a darling chart. It's just the mood I want to be in I don't in think I've ever had to rip six. I would imagine you haven't. I No. I don't think I've Kathy, ever I couldn't believe I did. I really, I was like. I, what is going on? This is like, ooh, oh, you that, know. That's, yeah. And I was listening to one of the things. I, I was listening to Sherlock Holmes, you know, the old murder mysteries and mm -hmm. all that stuff. I could have murdered something right then, I'm <laughs> telling you. It was like, it would not have been a mystery. Your, I would imagine your husband knew that things were not going no, well. No, one of the things that's di uh, that I've mentioned this before, <clears throat> when I make a mistake in cross-stitching, I really don't have a problem with, oh, well, let me just rip it out. If it's in a convenient spot. Now, I'm not going to go all the way back to the bottom and correct it. I'm just going to fix it somewhere yeah. along the way. But I don't mind ripping some stuff. If I was scrapbooking and I made a mistake, I'd just either stick an embellishment over it or throw the thing away and start it's over. Easy fix. Yeah, easy fix. Stitching not so much. Cooking, just, you know, air out the house for what you burn. Yeah. And make another one. <laughs> but for some reason, cross stitch does not mm -mm. bother me. You know, it's like I just, it's so peaceful to stitch. I don't care if I'm taking out or putting in. It's all the it's same. I'm so opposite <laughs> when it comes to my cross stitch. Ugh. I will rip. But do you cuss when you rip? Kind of. Kind of. I only cussed about the fourth time. I'll be By like, the fourth you time, I was got like, to be kidding. Well, that's, I live. <laughs> can I count? I swear. <laughs> Maybe I don't even know how old I am. I don't know how to count. <laughs> but anyway. So, <sighs> that was my. That's exhausting. Whip. It was exhausting. <laughs> so, I put it in time out. I could have finished I feel it. I'm sorry for you. But, but I, <sighs> on the serious side, this one thing. See all the stitches in it? Uh, you better be loving if it. If I could have done it <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, I could have been through. Your back looks nice, though. Well, thank you. My back looks nice. Yeah, her back looks okay. nice. Okay. But the moral to the story is I could have been through with this thing. Well, sure. You could have been and on to something else. I, I had to. This is going to sound Freudian or something. Freudian. Yes. I almost am enjoying stitching this so much and love the colors. Maybe that's I did. What it is. Maybe I didn't want to finish it. Maybe that's what it Maybe was. Maybe that's what it was. You really, just, really like it. Yeah, whatever. I don't like it right now. But uh, anyway, Where I'm going to love it. Where is it going for time out? <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm falling it's in love with it. It's, 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 it's paid its dues. Okay. And it's not its fault. <clears throat> oh, my. Okay, anyway, you want me to do one more? Yeah. We're holding you in suspense for that bog. It's so pretty. The bog okay. is cool. Now, I had, I had started this. Yes, your blueberry, your bluebird. The bluebird of happiness. Yeah. JBW Designs. So it's Judy Whitman. I told you I couldn't remember her name. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. There. It's the JBW Designs, yeah. Bluebird of Happiness. And this one broke the internet when it got released. Yeah. I mean, it pretty was. Much everybody was happy Everybody had to have it. It's very pretty. And the little toot is coming out with cardinals. Oh, this year. is she? Cardinals have And a, it's got the saying on it a about a, when a cardinal, when you, yeah, cardinal is near. A when a cardinal family. appears, an angel is near or yeah. something. And at Christmas, I put out, like, I'm up to three cardinals now because I lost my favorite, favorite, favorite aunt and my favorite, favorite daddy and my favorite, favorite mom. Mm -hmm. And I could do one for my grandma and grandma and all that stuff. But anyway, so I put three cardinals out at Christmas time. And I'm, I'm just going to make me cry. Anyway, so I'll have to do the cardinal one. Yes, Cindy, I've got to do the cardinal one. Is that going to be released at Nashville? Mm -hmm. oh, it's oh. very pretty, too. Okay. It looks remarkably like this, <laughs> only cardinals and Christmas, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so... I started this one, and speaking of timeout, I put it in timeout because I started it 
You wonder why these they make children them. of yours. Yeah, it's the mama's bad. <laughs> you know, when the kids are bad, it's usually the mama's fault. <laughs> but anyway, um, it could be the mama's fault. Anyway, um, I started stitching last year, yeah. and I love the little border. I stitched some more on yeah, this Yeah, that's one. really pretty. But I didn't like the wording. The blue. Just you didn't what, like the blue. No, it looked too, it was heavy. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see on there. I ripped out the wording that was right here. And I'm do this is 14 count. Yeah. 14 well, count Ada. To rip by. 14 count Ada. You know. Yeah. I've I've just stitched one over right there. See the V? Yep. And then that's the double thing. Yep. I think I'm gonna be okay with it one over. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I can't wait to get back to this. Uh because you, know? you really like it. You I do. Really I really it loved it. Let me see know? it again. <clears throat> but uh beautiful little colors. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty spring it's, colors. What count is this? You think it's 14 count, huh? Don't tell me. It's, it is with 14 okay, so count. She tells me it's 16 or 18. I'm going to laugh myself out of this chair. <laughs> um, and you're going to do one strand over one. That's your plan? As opposed to what? Two over one. Well, no, this is two over one. Hold on. This is two over one. And, this and is I don't one like over it. One. Yeah. This is one over one. <clears throat> so it's good. Is it just the I'm going to do the border and the flowers all in two. Two? Okay, that's what I was curious. I was okay. A little so, confused. Okay, this is two. See that those flowers? So you're going to do two over one. But the wording so is you're one. You're going to do one over one. So it but makes this it wording softer. was two. Did yeah, you, just, it looked like a billboard or something. Didn't you change the blue when I came over last? You had a different blue out. Yeah, a few times. Oh, gosh. You must but, have been really struggling. Did you take medication it, for that? No, that's what <laughs> I was going to say. I swear I haven't had... Anyway, <laughs> so I'm back into this. So that's the Bluebird oh. of Happiness, JDW uh -huh. Designs. It's beautiful, Very and she's pretty. coming out with a cardinal with one the this cardinal year. One. And the cardinal one is a knockout. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Well, it's Probably a Probably a good thing. It's a, it's a pretty thing. Probably a good thing. Okay. Yeah, and then you got the one that you pulled. Everybody pulled that for free. We saw in our comments. Are you gonna do that one? Yeah, but I'm wishing you. Oh, brought, okay. I wish you'd have brought more. Um, I don't have more. So here's the colors nicely displayed. And my phone is getting a message on front right now, so we're just gonna ignore it. We're just gonna ignore that. Do you like the presentation better than this one? You know, I'm gonna. Oh yes. Okay. I had made fun of Kathy one time, and which I shouldn't have. Got. See, God punished me for making fun of her. She holds up this wad of thread like this. It was a wad. It was terrible. So this is the cranberry sampler, and it is an older pattern. Can I take it from yep. you? Yep. And I misspoke last. It's Eileen. I think I said Ellen Bennett, but it's Eileen. I Bennett. said it right. Oh, did you say it right? Yeah. Okay. God is good. I'm not going to be able to count today. Head. So this was published, I think, in 1989. A long, long time ago. It's been in my stash. <clears throat> um, I actually converted the DMC colors to some overdyes that I just picked because I thought they were pretty. Um, and the cranberry bugs remind me of Wisconsin. Now, I did not iron it because I've been working on it. This is 46 count. Let me just see if I can't pull that through. Oh, I got my needle in there too. <clears throat> oh, almost lost that needle. Okay, so let's just put the needle up here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is as far as I've gotten. And the, if you look at the cranberry bog, that's what I ripped out. Uh, I hope it's showing. I left. Can you see how? It's... I can see it. I left the cranberry color in, Ugh. but I actually it was the blue gray that I was really struggle struggling with. I love those letters. Yeah, they're pretty. Um, but I'm happy with it now. I'm happy with the color, and I think we're we're on a roll. Oh, oh, go ahead. This um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. The um, blue letters. I That's asked Kathy fennel. what color it was, yeah. and she said it was fennel from yeah. General Arts. I think no yeah. color. Classic uh, color works. Hold on here. Classic color works. Yes, classic color works. Back in the day. Back. In well, the I day. looked up fennel from deep class fennel. I looked up the deep fennel okay. from Classic Color Works, and it looks green on the everybody's oh, computer it? screen. No, so I'm going to order one and see if it's green or blue. No, deep yeah. fennel. Um, and I, I brought with me the fun. frame. Remember I told y'all I had a frame? So that's going to fit perfect in here. Nine by nine. <clears throat> I'll be able to stretch that out a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. there. Um, anyway, it's going to be pretty. Yeah, it's going to be pretty. So I'm excited about that. Hobby Lobby call me. My frames uh, are ready. I can't believe that... You didn't postpone this a little bit for you to. Well, I'd have had to um, do them. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would have taken me a together. day. And I got to get a nap but in. Is, I got to get separate. This is going to work out really well, size wise, I think, the 9 by 9. So that is my whip. <clears throat> my only whip. 
that I'm working on. That bog is so cool. Yeah, the bog is really cool. The little farm scene. Oh, here, let me hand you this back before I keep it. Oh, yeah. And then um, I brought with, because I this has been bothering me. So Blackbird, you know, is a favorite of all of ours. <clears throat> and I rushed to get the box for this one. I rushed to get it painted. And then I saw people finishing it. And while I, you know, like their finishes, I was like, I don't, I'm not a white or even a cream, like mm -hmm. even this one here is bothering me a little bit because it's pretty creamy. And I have some that are on cream, which is fine. But for this, I was like, ah, oh, this isn't really working for me. Okay, so here you go. Casting a spell. I've loved it since it came out. Here's my box. The box is all done. All speckled orange, probably with my floor. I don't want to get you the glare, but I got it nice and speckled. And I really was struggling with How the... How do I? You can see my whole craft room. Isn't with, it pretty? It's pretty. With the fabric. Until somebody stitched Isn't this pretty? and used a dark fabric. And I thought, oh. And it looked really cool. Kathy. So I pulled fabric. And this is a hunk of fabric that Molly and I dyed. And that's what I'm going to stitch my casting. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't get a chance to pull colors yet. But... And I may Isn't have to Kathy? substitute. There aren't that many colors in it anyway. And I think um, oh, I bet not. coffee bean was one and orange was one. Let's see here. Dark chocolate, espresso bean, pumpkin pie, tarnished gold. Uh, all gentle arts. Oh, I love the alphabet. Yeah. On Confederate gray. That's what they did it on. Oh, that's so darn. Dark chocolate, espresso bean, basket pie, gold. So, yeah. So, four or five colors. And I may end up changing them up. But I think <clears throat> this in this box is going to look really cool. Mm -hmm. And what's so sad yeah. is we didn't write recipes, Dan. We were just playing. We just played. Oh, this is that, that linen that was uh, I, I didn't like it. The I, I knew I wouldn't stitch anything on it. And, but it's a beautiful color but now. But it turned out really pretty for color. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. And that's, yep. So I... I not sure when I'll get that started, but my cranberry sampler, I'm going to finish that. And mm -hmm. then who knows if it's in the mood now that I pulled it out. Because, you know, I've been cleaning my closets and organizing so I can make room for my scrapbooking mm -hmm. things. <laughs> my dyes that are coming in. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm not talking to Kathy as much as I'm talking to y'all. I'm an Ada stitcher. I yep. probably can go to Lugana or Monaco. Be comfortable. Not... Not my eyes are going, mm, not so much with the linen. Yeah. But um, I've been on some websites trying to buy some darker color. Ada. Ada. Yeah, you mentioned that. Are you struggling? I'm struggling because I have ordered like four pieces that I thought were going to be perfect colors. And when and they came not. in, they are nothing like what the computer screen shows or my computer screen shows. I anyway. do. I hate that. Now, close to us, we have four hours away in Albuquerque, we have. Um, a store. I don't know the name of okay. it, but anyway, it's a cross stitch store. I need to drive up to. And then four and a half, maybe five hours away from Too us, bad. we have the attic. You got not heavy in Ada though. That's no. not their thing, you know. So my question is, how do you? What I'm finding is I'm wanting brownish gray tones, mm -hmm. brownish grayish or brownish gray tones. Mm -hmm. And the ones I've ordered are coming in, and they're like um, not. They're like yellow or green or something. So I'm trying to figure out how do I mm -hmm. do that. Well, I found Hollis Hands Creates, Hollis Hands mm -hmm. something, uh, on um, Etsy, or mm -hmm. on the internet. And uh, she has some beautiful Ada in the fox and rabbit colors. I could get some fox and rabbit. Yeah. But they look greenish on my screen. So I'm like, yeah, which do I just, you yeah. And I, not, you know, not that I don't throw away $20 every day on something else, but I hate to throw, throw away 20 yeah. 40 68 100 120 140 if it's not. going to work out right. Yeah. Right, uh, kind of thing. But I, I like the to... ones that display their fabric with the skein of thread. That's what I was going to say. The DNC is really handy. It gives you a good uh -huh. If I idea. had a store, which I don't. Mm. You know, yeah. I used to always tease, if I had a restaurant, which I will never have a restaurant. I don't like cooking in my own kitchen. I will make sure the napkins are good. I cannot stand restaurants that put out cheap, cheap, cheap <laughs> napkins, and they wonder why their napkin costs are so high. It's because you have to go through 12 napkins. If I had a... Cra uh, you know, store with a Adas or whatever. I would put the, I would lay some 
DMC colors on there yeah. to let you know what color. What color it is. That's very, it is very really helpful. Is. It is very helpful. But I, I'm mm -hmm. ready to buy some Ada, but I just don't know what colors. And you want to do 18 and 16 color, right? 18, 16, or 20. Yeah. yeah. 18, 16, or 20. She's kind of moved up to the small. Would one. you stitch one over 20? Nope. Yeah. I one, mean, you wouldn't make one, a 10 count. You'd make it 20 no, count. One okay. over one. So it'd over be like one. a 40 count. Yeah. Okay. Because I could do 16, 18, or 20s. My dilemma is that's why I'm saying I don't want to buy six, eight, ten pieces of stuff and have it come in. Oh, well, that's you, all. Yeah, yellow. you do mm. one over twenty, one over eighteen, sixteen's up for grabs. If you want to do two over, hold that thought when you get yeah, to the sixteen in the middle. Kind I'll of show thing. You. Um, but the, and then I worked on some tags. Okay, let me. Can I show them the rest of my little yeah. cross stitching? Okay, mm. so, oh my God, do you remember the name of this? It's not solitary on Stitcher. Oh, yeah. Solitary on the Stitcher. Solitary Stitcher Facebook page, yep. I watched a floss tube, a young, a beautiful young girl named, her name isn't so tattered. Her floss tube is named so tattered. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what her name is, but she had her mother on. Let me introduce you to my mother. Oh, yeah. She her was mother one, looked was like loving just. Loving on her daughter. I, I think cute. I could, you know, she'd be fun to go out with or something. Yeah. I mean, she just was, they looked like they were fun. Mm -hmm. fun, fun, fun. Anyway, they, she showed her mother this free pattern, her mother stitching it. It's so pretty. It's from the Solitary Stitcher Facebook page, which is <clears throat> a couple of years old. But it's Mary Jane Fry, 1861. Isn't that a beautiful free? I like the color free, of that linen, too. Free, free yeah. Uh, yeah. chard. <clears throat> so I downloaded this. It has cats. Kathy will, of course, replace those with dogs. I will sneeze at them. I'm going to send her some My cat My cockroach spaniels. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, so this has colored lists colors listed you know to use mm -hmm. but I don't know if you can see on my printer that border the bottom checkerboardy border and the just the stitches above it look like two different colors to me but on the pattern they have the same oh. legend or whatever you call it icon yeah so I thought, well that's no good so I'm gonna I'm gonna make them two different colors yeah so the moral to the story is I'm just I pulled my colors to what my eyes <laughs> see in this picture yeah which I is what attracted me. Yeah. yeah, I do that a lot. Okay, so what I'm using... You don't have them on a floss ring, Molly? No, I'm out of rings. i got to find some rings. Well, okay. I'm not out in the house. I'm out <laughs> where I can find them. Let's just say that. So <laughs> this is a... Uh, give me a second. I'm going to tell you it's 14 count ren, but I could be lying to you. It is yes, 14 count ren. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. So it's kind of a... I think that's a perfect color, too. It's a pretty color. But there again, it's like a brownish gray. Yeah. Okay. So that's when nice. I say I have a whip, let's uh, let's all try to find it together. Um, that's as far as I got because I did it last night after I probably had a margarita. But anyway, uh, so that's as far as I got. But when I went to do the next row, it's like I'm not doing that same color. I want to go find a pretty golden yeah. color. And did you find one? Not yet because oh. I was in bed. You know, oh. so, anyway, so these are the colors I pulled, Kathy. They're really Laurel. pretty. Oh, wait, hold on. These are the colors I pulled. You should really present those a little better. Yes, I should. Yes, I should. <laughs> I ain't falling. I ain't taking the back. Oh, good Lord, I'm getting another phone call. Just ignore all those phone calls. Uh, I anyway, love what you picked. So that's these colors. It, it really is. Now, just out of curiosity, how close are those to the ones she called for? I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. I quit. After the I'm first curious. two, I quit looking. This one, the one so on the pretty. bottom called for drab brown. Light drab brown. Yep. I don't know what the color is. Six something. Right. Uh, DMC. I didn't want a brown, so you probably can't tell there. Guess what color I ended up using? It's a green. It's a blue green. Because mm -hmm. that's my go-to's. So I ended up using a blue green, and then I'm going to put that golden, kind of golden brown, mm -hmm. you know, more golden brown, next, and then I'll get into the thing. But for a free pattern from the Solitary Stitcher, she hasn't posted on her Facebook page in a while. People are moving away from blogs, you know. Yeah. You know, but she is, she does have some things available in uh, people's stores or whatever. So thank Very you so pretty. much for yeah. doing this. And so I think a lot. I actually sent the link home to my husband the last time we taped. My, I didn't even get home. <laughs> I didn't even get home, and I had it. it was I like that's it so hilarious. Much. Very pretty. <clears throat> okay. And then this is your book. So as far as cross stitching, I wanted to ask you about the fabrics. How the heck do you order fabrics online yeah, if you haven't gone to a retreat and seen it? And I wonder if Nancy Waller here in town couldn't be some help to me. 
Like, how does she order fabric? Oh, that's very true. She might be able to help you out. Like, if she has samples and stuff. Now, she's not usually, she doesn't usually carry a lot of Ada's other than no, white or cream like, or lamb's She might be able to get some samples for you, too. Well, that's what I almost want. You know? She might be some She might be able to help you out. Okay. Yeah. Um, she doesn't have a store anymore, but she does, uh, what do you call them? Stitch-ins? Yeah. You know, like retreats or something. She's having a retreat next fall. I think it's going to be really good and all. But uh, anyway, okay, I got one more story that's cross-stitching. And then we'll go back to Kathy's uh, adventures. Kathy's adventures. Okay, one more. Th Look, I keep pointing my finger. My mama would break my finger if I did that. Um, <laughs> so I'm watching a bunch of floss tubes. Love what y'all share. Oh, my God, I've been having the most fun watching the needlework uh, Nashville market releases and all. But I watched a video of Floss Tube the other day from two of my favorite people in the world. And I know which one is Jane and I know which one is Julie. She didn't know. I did. She got it. I had to correct you this morning. No, she had to. She correct. She. Anyway, I watched their latest thing. I couldn't remember the name of the channel. I'm like, it's Jane and Julie. I don't know what the heck the name of the channel is. But I found out I wasn't subscribed to them. Oh, you need to subscribe. Because I watch so often, you know, on the big screen TV, which you can oh. subscribe on, but you got to find your remote. Yeah, so. you got to. But uh, you it's set two. Up to... It's uh, running with scissors. Yeah. Stitching Jane with Jane and, and Julie. Julie. And yeah. uh, all of us have different health issues or different things going on in our lives yeah. and all. Jane, I'm I love you, and I don't mean to sound silly, but. Uh, if you haven't watched that latest video from Jane and Julie, it's hilarious and all, but there is some the, somber moments of, these, you know, what we struggle with health. But, Jane, it took me a second to even realize you'd cut your hair because I always look at those little twinkling trouble eyes. She just looks like, you know, she'd be so much fun to hang, get in trouble with. And her little tumbling. sparkly smile just... Yeah. You can tell she's you know, got a little hidden agenda. Oh, her well, her humor and my husband's humor... Are kind of the same. Don't want to scare you, Jane. But the, you know, I, I was attracted to my husband because he's got that dry sense of humor, yeah. so, you know, little devilish smile or something. He's anyway. Funny. So if you haven't seen that but video, running with if scissors, nothing stitching else, with Jane, their stitching is phenomenal. The Hardanger work and the the amount of um, the gal that we're talking about specifically likes Shepherd Bush. Design. Yes, Jane usually does a lot of shepherd's bush. Stitched Julie is teaching hard anger classes. Yeah. She's got one Just coming up soon. Beautiful, beautiful. And stitching, they stitch so, so many pretty things. So many. Yeah. I'm, I've got like one thing I'm working on. I can't. I'm yeah. doing it six times. But uh, one of my favorite stories from a floss tube I've ever watched. I've got a lot of favorite stories people tell that tickle me. But Jane and Julie didn't know it. They weren't born knowing each other. They didn't live next door right. to each other, whatever. But Julie was teaching hard anger class. And Jane's comment was, how could I not go to a class that the two words are hard and anger? <laughs> hard anger. I'm going. You know, <laughs> I yeah, cracked remember that is, that is my husband. That uh, sense of humor. That's, that's hilarious. But it's hard anger. I, I, I'm not, sign me up. But anyway, that's okay, my last, if you haven't watched the video, go watch it. <clears throat> and, um, that's, that was, those dangerous eyes and sparkling smile, girl, you got me. Okay. <clears throat> Last video, I showed some of my Nashville market mm -hmm. wants. Mm -hmm. Patterns that I just think, you know, I can't live another day without. Don't remember all the names of them and all, but I have printed pictures of them for myself. Well, one of them I printed, I loved it because it was a picture of the original sampler, you know, that they'll be releasing at market. Right. But they haven't, I don't know if they finished the new stitching yet on it or some. But it was in lots of shades of oranges and golds and just real bright looking Antique sample. Oh, you like the gold. I like the orange and the gold the and the gold blues. Colors. And I was like, oh my God, I got to, you know, it's a cute sampler, old house, and you, know, you can imagine what a sampler was. Well, in addition to that, um, who was it? That, was I'm it not Julie? smelling your arm. No, yeah, it was uh, um, Roberta on Sable Stitcher oh, yeah. had shown something she was stitching. There was a, lot, a bunch, a bunch of berry bowls. And when she held that thing up, oh, it looked it like huge. it was going to be like, oh, well, she's yeah. looking all that. Very big. Yeah. But I figured I could do a couple. So I, I want to do some berry bowls. I want to do that orange sampler. There's some other things I just love and all. Well, a while back, one of our fabulous viewers sent me some books. And someone had asked me where the sunflower sampler, what book yeah. it was in. It's not that one. Well, I know now. Oh. But anyway, so I thought, well, it's in one of these books. So let me open the book. So I pulled this book out. And I don't know if y'all have ever done this before. But, I'm gonna, well, you know, if you don't believe, just 
ignore this story. But, you know, if you don't believe in higher powers, what I'm saying. But anyway, I used to always tease. Um, I was raised Catholic. We didn't study the Bible a lot when we were young. But the moral to the story is that, boy, if you ever just open the Bible and read a verse, he's talking to you kind of thing. And it always kind of pertained to me. Well, this book fell open. And it fell open to a page I couldn't believe. Look at this pattern. It's orange and yellows and blues, and it's got berry bowls in it. Now, are you going to change those blues to your tealy colors? No, I'm Have doing it. Have you a, thought about doing that? No, I'm... Heck, I don't think so. I'm thinking... Hold on, let me show you. Because I know how much you like the teal. This is what I pull. Well, you kind of got a teal in there. Well, that's... I, you know, it only calls for like four colors or five colors in the pattern, so I pull 45. 45, yeah. <laughs> but because I want to do... You want a variety. I'll show you. Anyway, uh... But see, these blues are what I'm thinking I want to do. And this orange. I pulled this yellow, but I found out it was too light, and it doesn't go with the fabric I use. So I'm a, I'll be frogging that out, but I don't care. I was yeah. test driving. and I'll, yeah. But anyway, so it's these bright, fun, happy colors. They're very pretty. It's got the berry bowl <laughs> and the sampler feel to it. It's not big. It's got everything you want. All in and one. the book was in Better Homes and Garden, America's Best Cross Stitch, and it is... It is one of them. <laughs> Better homes again. And now but the anyway, price got just, this cover. <laughs> the price just went up to one hundred and eighty-five dollars no. for this book. This one was copyrighted in nineteen eighty-eight. That's just, you, that. Um, anyway, I don't know if it's a certain volume or not. Amazes me about the books when you start talking about books and the the cost of them goes up because a few floss tubers have recommended them or. Okay. So this is as Crazy. far as I've gotten. You can see what I'm saying. I'm going to take that yellow out yeah. because it's too lemon, and I need to find More lemon gold, gold lemon gold little instead bit, yeah. of uh, that. A little bit gold. So I found it. But I used a variegated thread here. That's pretty. And if you look on the pattern, it looks it like a variegated thread, but, except mm -hmm. it's actually they stitched like a yellow color to here, a and light orange here, a darker orange, darker, darker, darker. Because they didn't have the overdyes. They didn't have the overdyes. No. So that, we, you really had to work at it back then. So, <laughs> I'm using an overdye and it's really coming out the same work. thing. But anyway, so I am so excited about... Imagine how much frogging you'd have been done back in the 80s if you were doing... For the sweet, <laughs> sweet friend that sent me that book. Thank you so much. And what a treasure. Yeah. But it literally just, I laid the book down and it was like... It just opened it's up. It's right there. It's right there. I was going to share I what I ordered. Um, <clears throat> I ordered a couple of gifts. Um, oh, you went from the attic? Yeah, okay. I ordered a St. Patty thread board. I ordered the set, set of pins. Any exclusive kit, not kits, but the exclusive colors that come from Gast, Weeks, mm. or I ordered them because they're usually like six in a pack. I did that. And then I ordered um, pre-market order. I ordered a scissors. The, I ordered the white handled one. They all sold out at the symposium. Um, then I ordered the botanical bee. I like that oh, one. Oh, is that hands-on design? Mm -hmm. Gee, cute. I found another with thy needle and thread. It's spring. I love that one. I love with thy needle and thread. spring. Yep. Yeah. And then I ordered Plum Street. Then came out with hers. I had to have the flag thief. That was so. It's got the little rabbit right on. <laughs> You know those things where I put the strawberry, <laughs> wax strawberry, and the thimble in, and Speaking I didn't pull them down? Power. That was my wax strawberry <laughs> and thimble just now falling out, I'm sure. Um, Plague three and one more, Hollow's Eve. I had to have that one. Oh, I love that I one. had to have that one. I think and I, that was from, uh, did you see her, that little <clears throat> girl's name? I don't know. No, I don't have the name, unfortunately. Blueberry, uh, Blueberry Ridge. Ridge. Blueberry Ridge. Yeah. And she has another <clears throat> pattern that she's releasing. It's Darling. I really, really Blueberry like that Ridge. one. And All then Hallows Eve. I think, please add this one. This one, oh, this is Plum Street American Welcome. I, oh, I have the cool. other one, and I wanted this one to go with it. And then I promised I wouldn't place any additional orders and they're like sure thing add as much as you want no problem yeah. but uh, and so I got my order in mm -hmm. for now <clears throat> so you for hope now. when you know when Lindy from Lindy Stitches was going through with her husband who was a hoot <sighs> I loved watching him um what were the market what orders they've taken pre-orders they've taken so far of the yeah. patterns that they're going to be carrying and what the winners were and you know the yeah. most ordered and all were um, it was fun to watch, but one of the things that I got tickled with is, um, one of the, uh, designer's husbands is doing these little wooden thread keeps. 
like oh, a butterfly or something. Oh, cute. They're adorned. And he, the husband was teasing about, they sold better than the patterns. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, because she's they're got the patterns. The pieces. And he, yeah. yeah, they're just the cute. Yeah, so the husband's the doing yeah, little Aww, accessories. But I'm going to have to go back and find those thread packs now. Well, I just said whatever because they're not listed, as, but they always put out a thread pack. Usually they notice. always have a, yeah, usually they always have a exclusive to the shop people that are there in Nashville mm -hmm. thread packs. And sometimes they come home with extra ones in the shop. So I'm like, anything that you got thread pack wise, I'll take one of each because you never know. So, you know, I'm trying to eat smarter now. Where is this going? To us? <sighs> I'm trying to eat smarter now. So now when I go to the store and I'm just about to reach for that bag of Oreos, I think, that's two strands of great American, you know, <laughs> gentle arts. I mean, gentle arts. Converted uh, into floss. floss. But wait, that's a package. You know? That's a pattern. So, I'm, I'm not going to buy those cookies. I'm going to buy. $18. Yeah. That's chicken. Gee, yeah. protein or paper. <laughs> well, I'm going to get the chicken. I'll get protein. I'm, I'm a meat eater. But uh, anyway, but it's, um, I'm, I'm converting into floss. Because my problem was, well, I don't want to have a whole bunch of floss colors around. That I, I might not floss. use. Yes, yeah, she's got a lot of floss. Lot. She tower. has a floss tower. Floss and what she tower. means is boxes. <clears throat> I think we showed it in a video. It's boxes, box, boxes, boxes. It's and it's my dumb. height and a half. Yeah. You know. And I added a box because I expanded on one of them quite oh, a bit. I'm like, okay, this one's overflowing. So, so how do you ever just how do you ever pull <clears throat> your colors? I pull my boxes down. You just know what's in each box. I know. I have a little pretty tape. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. <clears throat> I have a little tape. Mm -hmm. And now I sorted through all my ribbons and my my ribbons and my pom poms and my chenilles and got them all organized. So yeah, I can I feel like a free woman. Everything is. Mm. So I got to go back and look for those threads now. Well, just call them. Just tell. I I doubt that they'll post it because they don't know what they are specifically. So I'm just you know off the cuff. I think to myself. I'm You've thinking. Seen it? That Lindy said something about or it. Or somebody. Okay, well, then you need to go back. Somebody. And I saw him somewhere. Get the just exclusive threads. One. Yeah. I'm going to have to go look. So you'll have to take a look and see what there is. My stomach is really not growling, by the way. I did have that little protein bar before we started. Come on. I okay. had to bring my own candy, though, because Molly wouldn't let me have any of her candy last time. Okay. I and come over there and there's a mound of candy and I'm such a sweet eater as it is. She knows I come over and I clean out her candy dish. And I said, oh, you got candy. She goes, oh. can't have any. <laughs> My husband just had a birthday. Our oh, son lives no. far away in Washington State. We live down here in Texas. And my son <laughs> sent my husband who loves nuts. He is nuts and he loves nuts. So he sent him this fabulous box from nuts.com. It looked good. <laughs> and the nuts could not have been, they were delicious, they good? fresh, 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 fresh. And it had good. some popcorn in there and stuff like that. But it had some different kind of chocolates in there, chocolate covered nuts. It had chocolate, um, that's my, that's my, chocolate yeah. covered blueberries. <laughs> it had, you know, anyway, had a thing of fit. It was just a well done box and delicious. But my husband had just come in and laid, because he knows I'm a chocolate eater, shouldn't be, but I'm a chocolate eater. And he had laid these containers of chocolate. Well, I wasn't going to have them because... It's his present. I want him to be the first one to open them. I'm not going to open his chocolate. Well, I sure wasn't going to open it for Kat. If anybody's going to open it, it's going to be me. But uh, anyway, so I said, no, John needs to open his present. So, John's opened some of the chocolate. Hello. So now, unless you want a plastic bag, you ain't getting them. <laughs> he Hello. liked them. He liked them. But uh, there was some chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. It was chocolate-covered blueberries. Were they good? I don't know. I didn't get one. Oh. Once he opened them, that was it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Once that stopped. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Although, I will have to and say. I didn't want to. Those are he. You know, I wanted him to have There's it. a place. And I'm teasing. There's a place up in. Not really, but I am teasing. There's a place in Wisconsin. It's called Tenuta's. It's in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Tenuta's. And they have homemade chocolate-covered blueberries, chocolate-covered yogurt, chocolate-covered peanuts, chocolate-covered you name it. Um, and I will bring home, and it's funny because my husband does the same thing to me. Where are you going to put all that stuff for the trip home? I'm like, I'll find a spot. Mm -hmm. And you know who munches on it then? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. The Merck's cheese that you can get, the, oh. you know, all the fun stuff that you can't get down here. Mm -hmm. I, I'll bring home like four of them. I'll put them in the freezer and travel back to El Paso with them. And are you going to what? And I'm like, oh. We'll find this play. We'll sure find enough, spot. two cheeses are already gone. And okay, now we're rambling, Kathy. But yeah, do you have yeah, anything? Do you have something else you wanted to share that wasn't cross stitch? Yeah. And what was that, Kathy? 
<laughs> She's so proud of herself. She's so proud. It's like the devil. <laughs> yeah, it is. I got one. Oh, no. she, she did get me. I, I, I vowed I was not going to get into. Every time we did anything with paper, she was, now I'm not going to do this. I know you're the paper lady. I'm not going to get into this. Not going to buy. make and make and make. I know. I'll sit here and I can make all afternoon. I can pester the heck out of her and what do you got for this or what can I do with it? <clears throat> So y'all know I made tags last time in that cute little box that I got for $5 from Kohl's. Kohl's, mm -hmm. I think it was. Go ahead. Kohl's. Go yeah. ahead. Um, and I wanted to make some additional holidays. I want a, I want spring, summer, fall, winter. Then I want each holiday. And then I wanted like a generic one. Like uh, one that can be for um, Mother's Day for all the moms. Father's Day for all. So, so kind of put that in there. So that we can display them and flip them around and look at them and think, oh, aren't we cool? We made these kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I actually um, did four, four, three or four more. This is my, well, I'll let you guys figure it out, but isn't that one cool? That's my cross stitch lady and there's an X behind her elbow because she's resting on it and I found this large wood frame. It's a, I want, it's a hoop, but I wanted to put it front there. It's a little big. I might just hang tight for a little bit and one might come across. Oh, I see the X. <laughs> I was looking for the X and the S, but her they're high right there. Okay. Resting on it, yeah. I just thought that was really cute, and I isn't that <clears throat> just yummy? That was a the back, yeah, so the back. I, it was a piece of paper that I hung on to. I showed it to Molly because it had like a beehive on it and bees, mm -hmm. and we're all busy oh, so as busy little bees when we stitch. And but I just thought, oh, that's really cool. So somewhere along the line, I'm going to try to get a hoop. Maybe I'll use that one, or I need a small hoop to put in where her bat, where her hat would be. I don't know if y'all can even see this because it's out of print and paper, but see that die cut? Yeah, I did that. Yeah, it's I got a die. Part. Okay. I was like, there's like little things. Of, yeah, listen to you. It's like the stuff's flying. It's like confetti. And I have died by the thousands back here, but it's like, own, so good. You poke them okay. holes and they just go. They're like floating in the air. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and then I finished my, uh, I wanted to do one that was sunflower and I've been kind of talking to Molly. I think I'll do a sunflower one. Well, then when I was organizing again, I finally got through it all. I found an antique, how do you say it? It starts with an E. Ephemera. Ephemera? Ephemera sunflower. So I... And again, it's one of those, uh, like, embossed it's a paper. Real, and it's shot. There wouldn't have been a need to put it on to use for anything else. I mean, it was... But it's glued down really well. And, and she bought some die I, cuts that are the yeah, birds. Yeah, the, the birds. And I did three layers of velvet birds and then I added that little scarecrow in the middle. Isn't he cute? He's playing with the birds. So you may never find, oh excuse me, you may never find this guy or this guy but you have something like it or you have something that yeah. fits you or something. Yeah. But anyway. So oh, that's Kathy, my, that's darling. And then I did one for Mother's Day. I'll let you hold that. Um, just to recognize all our moms. And I still want to add something at the top. I have a tiny, tiny little frame. This was a new die cut. What a cut. pretty piece of ribbon. Too. That was a die cut. This uh -huh. one. The um, roses at the bottom. The roses. My mom liked roses. Um, and I, I have a little tiny frame. I thought I would put her picture in it and then hang it from the, where the bow was at the top there. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I did one for my me and my husband's wedding, which is in May. And that's an actual, my dress had lilies of the valley embroidered all over it. And that's an actual piece from my bouquet. Because back then we did sell flowers. I wouldn't recommend that today. And I still want to do something at the top to kind of add something. I said to Molly, I need to put like a May 27th, our, our wedding date on it. But did you see the little tag down here? It says crown diamonds. I don't have a crown diamond, but it sure is fun to <laughs> do oh, things we do. Come on now, baby. Yeah, it's not focusing. And uh -uh. Your oh. camera likes me too much. So I'm focused just fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, there you go. There focused. You go. Okay. Yeah. Pretty pretty. Oh my gosh. And then I'm working on this one. This is a work in progress. This is my flag day one. And Molly's going to help me find a piece to put at the top. And I want it really flag orientated so I can leave it out for the month of when we have flag day. Isn't, um, and that's a little Tim Holtz paper doll. Isn't yeah. he the cutest little yeah. fella? You know what? I'm going to do one of paper dolls. Did you grow up doing paper dolls? You're younger than me. I didn't. I had Barbies. And well, I had Barbies, but okay. my Aunt Mamie used to get, who was my fairy godmother, she got McCall magazines. Oh. And so she used to bring us the uh, paper dolls. Okay. That you could cut out and dress oh. and all that stuff. And I loved them. That, the paper dolls is I'm going to do a paper doll. You've got because. some, so, you know, Molly knows I'm working on these, and she's like, every time I talk to her, I was like, so when are we going to do tags again? When are we going to do tags again? Finally, she sends me home. She goes like, 
You can just take these. Just take that paper home. Just go. Take that chipboard just take, home. Just take that paper home. Three envelopes of it. Just take that paper home. It's kind of the stuff where we're trying to move on out, if you will. And like, okay. Okay, I'll, so here's okay, my dilemma. I'll do that. I'll take your paper home. and Because I don't have paper. I don't have a lot of paper. And, but she has gorgeous But I have charms and, and yeah, paper. Yeah, from yeah. what I did, the Junior Women's Winter mm. Festival up there. Mm charms from ornaments and what have you and we did all kinds of things add-ons like that so I've, i'm kind of good that way but mm -hmm. yeah. and just beautiful things so, but uh so in the meantime while we're talking about scraps mm -hmm. the scrap part of linen mm -hmm. and scraps um one of the reasons i had to i have to get on i had committed to a friend of mine who was in an organization called peo peo i think that's the name of Philanthropic, educational, yes. Okay, I have to say it out loud to remember the numbers. Anyway, she asked me to do a card class for some of her members. I'm like, okay. So, i got to make some card kits. I've, I've gotten rid of, I've had enough classes and stuff like that recently where I don't have any card kits made. So, what they're going to be doing, so I have to make like 20 of each kit. Sure. Ugh. So, in, <laughs> love you. Um, anyway, so this is one of the kit cards I'm going to have them make. So, I had to die cut all this ahead of time, do the flowers. Cut the paper, get the cards and envelope ready, you know. So that takes a little time, and then they're going to do they're going to do this the one, pussy. which is just a cute thing. So I pre cut, mm -hmm. die cut all those flowers and leaves, and they're going to get to do that. And they'll so what they're going to get to do is they'll learn how to stamp. They're going to get to do some embossing. This one is just a simple layering, but we'll talk a little bit about die cutting, you know. And then they'll uh, have them. There's a sympathy card because you know we're getting to be that age where boy we need sympathy cards every other time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so they get to do that again. They'll get to stamp and emboss, you know. And then for one of the fun cards, this is not finished. I'm gonna be working on it after a few months. Um, and I got a it's kicking me out again. Uh, they'll they're gonna die cut. You can't hardly see it, but in their <clears> kit, <throat> they're gonna get you know the card base. They'll get a piece of watercolor paper, and then they're gonna smoosh colors on that background piece of watercolor paper. They'll pick you know let them pick what colors they want, and then they're gonna smoosh a uh, from that dyed paper. They're going to die cut a flower head. I'll pre-cut all the stems the same color sure. kind of thing. And so they'll have a, a big pretty flower that's meant, and they'll, they'll do it. So they'll it'll be no two cards alike. You can't smush the same, same way twice. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. But it looks kind of artsy, like watercolor mm -hmm. and stuff. And so then I've got to make one more. So I'm <laughs> trying She's to get those things ready. And yeah, one of the things ready. that came up, a lot of people asked, what is it that we are using for the base? And uh, can you so, feel how hard... See how hard that feels? What's the base, Kathy? Cereal box. Cereal boxes, cracker, cracker boxes. Box. Um, yeah, that's stuff what like all that. of ours were this time. Now we have done our our thread beds and our floss keepers with chipboard, which is a little bit heavier. Right. Um, and I like to use the double face tape that's on a roll. Um, sometimes that's hard to find, but I, mm -hmm. that's what I, I, Molly's been using sheets, and she's had some really good luck with that. And you can use glue. Yeah, Elmer's glue from yeah. Or, you know, whatever. I just think it's kind of a little tape. bit smoother. I don't know. I like, I like it, but yeah, I like tape. the tape. Double sided um, tape. I know some of you have said, "Are you going to do a tutorial on it?" And we might. Molly and I talked about it. Um, so here's my thought. You know me, who like I use greeting cards to make uh, thread beds, yeah. or you know I try to. What, what can I do with this? My thought is I'm going to make. I've seen where, and I want to say Carol the Saltbox mm -hmm. Stitcher is the one who first mentioned this, and I've heard somebody else say it recently, and somebody else say it recently, that like they just have a ring with their Christmas colors. You know oh. like how Prairie Sampler uses the same yeah, colors, colors on almost every so Prairie Sampler? Know. They just have a ring that's their Prairie Sampler ring, or, yep. or they just have a ring that's their Christmas colors, Blackbird. or they just have a ring that's, yeah, or Brenda Gervais even uses mm -hmm. a, know, lot a lot of the, of the same colors or something. I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to cut a couple of pretty things out, punch a couple of holes in the bottom of them. Oh, and use them for thread. And use them for my thread things. Yeah. Instead of having each thread on an individual thing, I'm going to make one that's, these are my Americana colors or something. Uh, yeah. or these are my, these are Brenda Gervais. Or yeah, or something like that. But I'm thinking, it, bird. and even if you didn't really use it, wouldn't that make a fun, fun. table gift? Just fun. Oh, yeah. A fun table gift if you're going to like a retreat or something. Or yeah, or you want to send a little mm -hmm. present. Just a special way to do something. <clears throat> use greeting cards. Use, mm -hmm. but the chipboard is thicker. Yeah. That we use for our books and all. But this, the reason I like using the um, cracker boxes or something, first I got them. They, you know, right. They're free. You don't go to the uh, garbage bin quite yet. You know? But by the time you use paper and glue, paper and glue, paper and glue, paper and glue, it, they, thickens come, they it thicken up pretty yeah. much. I, I and because had, you're putting so many in a box, you don't want them. Yeah, I haven't had too many curl. Them. I had one that curled quite a 
It might have been my ball one curled quite a bit. But they're pretty, they're pretty good. I feel like I've opened up a whole other can of, a whole other world. But what I love about it, Kathy, and I'm not trying to sell y'all on making these or anything, yeah. but she was an ephemera collector. To begin with. Some of us have ago. things, and they yeah. may be under the bed. You know, old yeah, cards from your grandma or something, mm -hmm. or something your mother kept, or something from your high school years or something. Yeah. Which in my case, is a long time ago. That's antique and all. Yeah. So, uh, rather than then just being in a box underneath, this is just a fun way to make something. Use up some little scraps of ribbon, scraps mm -hmm. of this, scraps of that, you know. And then put them out in a little box. You yeah. know, it doesn't take much space on the counter. And yet, how many memories are in there? I know. It's like... And literally scraps. I, oh. I have no, nothing else on the spool of this. Nothing else on the spool of that. So it's like, oh, just tuck it in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And it looks pretty with that. Yeah. So, and so. I do like a little bit more primitive, more so maybe than Molly. So I'll really grunge mine up. What I didn't expect was... I'm sitting here trying to use up my stuff, and you know I bought these dies, and I'm thinking if somebody would just use them, at least there was a reason I bought that die. No, the woman goes out and buys her own die cutting machine. And I her did. Own dies. She said, "Just take my own." I'm like, I want my own. <laughs> I want my own machine. I had one, two, uh, three, four. I had five die cutting I was machines. Like, no, she won't take my own. Home. Machine. Okay, but so, uh, anyway, and why you ask? Look, y'all have more than one of them Q-snappy things and all. I mean, everybody's got more than one. Don't be judging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, at the end of the day, well, and I have... But see, like, there's of... there's five different yeah. memories that fit in a box that, yeah. you know, her grandkids and her can look through or she can look through or whatever. She can take it to the nursing home with her and just put it by her bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. People ask so her what that is, she'll make up a story. Um, to find a... To find a... Either use this hoop somehow or find a smaller one. But I liked my stitch one. And that was just a piece of paper that I had kept. It was sent, the background was sent um, as a compliment of gift card and fell mm -hmm. in love with it. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get rid of that. And look how cute that turned out. Little stitchy ladies mm -hmm. waiting, their, waiting their turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. For not having anything to talk about. Did we talk for a while? Well, yes. We're at an hour. So plenty of time to get coffee and a little stitchy project and put your feet up. Thank y'all so much, <clears throat> mm -hmm. so much for all the sweet comments the and comments for liking really, and for really sharing nice. yeah. and for watching more than once and for subscribing. And when I was telling a story about, I, if you had put a gun to my head and said, Molly, did you subscribe to Running With Needles and Thread, Stitching With Jane and Juliet? I'm like, well, of course I watch all their videos. I wasn't subscribed. I was an avid watcher. I yeah. just never hit the Well, especially if you're watching it on your smart TV, it's like a pain uh -huh. in the butt to get your... I just have to find the remote. It's all yeah. I do. So yeah. when... But if you're I'm, watching from your phone or your laptop, it certainly is easy enough to do. Yeah. <clears throat> but when... I think it was Jane that actually said something about subscribing or to the... Subscri yeah. Oh, she was... Because when I first saw it, I was like, oh, what happened to Jane? And then she was saying that, well, our subscribers would have already heard her mic. I'm not a subscriber. Hold on. Oh. So that's what I realized that uh, here we're asking people to like, share, and subscribe, and I'm a, I, I failed. You know, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. You failed at your one cross stitch six times too. So oh my god, it's okay. I'm a double failure. It's I'm a multiple. Okay. I'm a multiple failure. -er. <laughs> so anyway, we all fail. That's what makes us six times. That's that little us, border. That's a bad. I used to like number six. That was my lucky number. That last time, Kathy, I could... The last time, I almost didn't care. It was so... Because it was only like the last... You know, the mistake was right there oh, on the end. But that other it. one, the mistake was like... And, you know, it was so close to the other end, and I couldn't just take it out and fix it, because then it would have been too Can close. Can I just say six times? That sucks. <laughs> and I really... I was really like, what is... What What are you trying to tell me? What's going on? Why, why am I doing this? Is there something Did you ever this? stitch... And you do make the same mistake like three or four times, and it's like someone is trying to talk to you that this is not to not do not keep going, do not keep going, and then you kept going anyway, and then you realize in your head back, you know, two inches ago, something in your mind was telling you not to stitch that. Did, has it ever happened to you? It's happened to me. It's like I got another. Kathy sitting next to me. Well, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't, do, don't it. do it. Don't do it. And it's like, of course, then oh. I have the other Molly saying, go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. But the one that makes me the, the one when I realized I had ripped all the way back, frogged all the way back, didn't care, 
I'm going to bed. I'm going to pick this up in the morning. I will be fresh and yeah. alert, and I will get it done right. For some reason, when I backstitched, I, I was two stitches away. I stopped two stitches away from the why mistake. You... Why didn't I rip past the mistake? Yeah. Two more stitches. That would have helped. It would have been three. <laughs> but anyway, but I was like, hmm. But when I did that, <clears throat> you know, so I made, did it all right. I had to rip, 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 and uh, stitch all the way back. It's a different language. <laughs> and then... Uh, it was it was just unbelievable. And it's it a happens. Cute little chart. It's a sweet thing. And I I will rip. I'm, I I I don't know that I you you know have to apologize for that, but I will rip it out. It's like uh, and I remember Jane who she was the owner of Calico Canvas and Colors. Hi Jane. Um, she would always say to me, just stitch it. No one's gonna know, but I know. So I know, and it bothers me, me, but that's mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I don't know. It's built in. Me and Jean Lee and yeah. Miss Amy and Miss Flossie, we're get, we, 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 we were a group, like girl. A we're, we're a team. Oh. Always forward, never backwards. Yeah. And that's what the, anyway, more to the story. But my frames are ready at Hobby Lobby. Lobby. Yeah, that'll be fun to see them next time. Here's my nightmare. Uh-oh. Speaking of ripping out, the young man, I laid my pieces of fabric on the counter, my pieces of stitches on the counter, and he's taking out a tape measure and measure. He's not stretching. We're not stretching. Yeah. So I'm telling him to leave a quarter of an inch on this one or leave three eighths of an inch on yeah. this one or half an inch on this one. So there's a <clears> real <throat> good chance all of my things, when I get them framed, are going to be right to the edge. Yeah. I'm not going to have that It'll quarter. It'll be interesting to see. Yeah, because I didn't think to tell him to. Yeah, you got to stretch it a little I bit. I didn't. Now, one of them, I did tell him. Because the fabric was a loosey-goosey kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, now let's say, go ahead and add an extra. Let's be a little bit more generous on this one because that bubbly's going to stretch. Okay. You know? so anyway. And I have a hint, too. You know, we talked about the little clips. You can get the little clips to hold if your rabbit is not as deep. It's a narrow rabbit, and you've got your, your fabric that you're stitching on, your spacers, your foam core. Oh, she's talking about framing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Framing. I'm just yeah. not catching I'm up. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I'm so Amazon day. has those parts, those okay. pieces, so that's a good thing. But I went to Michael's to get black construction paper because I got a die for Christmas, the nativity one. Oh, it's pretty good. It's very pretty. Um, but anyway, I got a die, and I said to the girl, I said, you know, I saw on Facebook that you have frames on clearance, and you just kind of have to either mosey around, and, you know, in the back there where they put things on clearance, and I asked her, she said, oh, we keep all of our clearance ones back here. And now, this said, was at Michael's? Yeah, the one, the, the little one by us. And <clears throat> so if they're not out in the open, make sure you all ask. If they're, guess how much they were? Guess. I can't even, I don't want to guess. It didn't matter the size, eight bucks. Uh-uh. Did bucks. you buy them all? I did not buy them all. I didn't buy any. Um, because I have, I have I so many under my bed. Yeah. And I was thinking of Molly. Mm -hmm. Molly might want to go over there. I would love to. <clears throat> but I'm sure a couple of them were big enough you could get two frames out of if you took them down by Rudy. On Donovan well, that's what I'm thinking. Rudy. So, so you might want to. Let's do. I've got to go. to go to well, the back. I'm going to have. So it's the one by us. The little one. Yeah. Right. And if you walk back by the frames, you, you walk into a wall, go to the right. And <laughs> If you walk into a wall, you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> go to the right. And eight bucks. She said, I'm just looking it up. Doesn't matter what size. I was like, oh. So now y'all know. They hide them. I've got to go in. Because they in. are sweet every once in a while. You say, you yeah. have a little piece of matting or something. You know, like, yeah. They'll cut you some you yeah. know, stuff. And they... But I did not buy them all. There was like six of them. Oh, my God. But I went to the Hobby Lobby. I teased to the Hobby Lobby. The Walmart. To the Walmart. Um, <laughs> are you from the South? <laughs> yeah, that's it. From Louisiana, they always call it making groceries and going to the Walmart. So, uh, How do so, you okay, say wash? Like, do you say wash? Wash. wash. I'm going to say it. Right. Tamale. Tomato. Tamale. Tomato. My grandma used to be washing. Washing. I got my washing. Anyway, the moral to the story anyway. is I got to get my frames from Hobby Lobby. Yeah. So, I'm so next time we see. And just praying that I'm not cutting off. If if I didn't give enough yeah, room for stretching, I'm going to be, to be layering it on there gentle and just not yeah. stretching. Yeah. Or I'm going to be, like uh -oh. one of our good viewers said, I'm going to be washing that thing in the dryer and uh, the, wetting it and putting it in the dryer trying to shrink it up. I thought you were going to be double faced tape. Oh, I am. <laughs> I was That's thinking I could name. ask Kathy to come over one day. No, so one no, more thing. No, I swear Kate. we're just rambling. Okay. okay. Well, you know that. Yeah, I wanted to tell you. Um, so, Kathy, let's yeah. say I have this chart. I mean, yeah. I have this finished piece of cross stitch, okay. and I have a frame. Yeah. What are you telling me I should be putting? Not what do I do, but what should I be doing? That what should I be putting that piece of cross stitch on? Foam core. 
acid free foam core. That's what you should be doing. And then what do you do? You pin the I edges? I pin mine. So somebody asked, that's a good question because somebody asked about <clears throat> framing what I do tutorial. We talked about that too. It's going to be difficult to do a tutorial because it's so teeny, teeny, tiny. You've all cross stitched your piece and you've all counted it. Even Molly counted six times on the one, but you're still counting. You're just counting your, th so when you, when you fold your fabric over that foam core, you're making sure that your pin is going in the same hole all the way across, the same thread hole all the way across. So your fabric's not doing this? Yes. Yeah, okay. So that it's because you're pulling that linen in the same way. Now, some people will pin and then lace and then take the pins out. I, I leave my pins in. That's how the framer... Do you lace? No. Okay. The Framer Wisconsin just pinned them and she And just, you're pinning with sequin pins or something? I'm using three quarter inch sequin. stainless steel pins. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We call them sequin pins. Um, and you you also don't want to lose the head of the pin in the weave of the linen. So you have to be yeah, a little bit careful. Little pins. Now, I cannot tell you, is it best to start from the middle, work your way out? Is it best to start from the corner and work your way in? I've done it every single way. It depends on the linen. Some linen's more stretchy. Some linen will stretch more one way versus the other way. Um, it's so it's kind of a trial and error. You got to fool around and play with it. Some of them you can start by the corner and count up. I'm going to count up 22 threads. Then I'm going to go down here and count down from 22 threads to where I put my pin in from the last finished stitch of your of your piece. Going to do 22 on the side. So. Okay. It's tough, but it I I've done it enough times that I kind of know it's gonna take patience, and you may end up having to take it out. What you do then is you flip your foam core over because now okay. you've already pinned in those holes. You've already made a a large hole, if you will, in the foam core's mind. You're gonna have to flip the foam core over so that you have. Uh, fresh foam, if you will, to pin back into again. Does that make sense? No. Okay. So foam core, <clears throat> you usually, there's a backing and a, a topping, and then uh -huh. the foam is in the middle. Mm -hmm. Well, if you take your pin and you foam, you're going to pin in into close. Into the foam. You, probably you're going to get close to the layer of Paper. skin on top. Okay. Okay, then you've got a quarter inch mm -hmm. behind that quarter inch anymore but you got foam behind that pin that's not used mm -hmm. you may, so if you screw up bad enough and you're like oh I don't like this you can flip your foam core oh, okay. over I see what you're and okay. you can start all over again with foam core fresh a fresh roll of foam core because you haven't pinned into that so sorry area yet. okay I got one more question mm -hmm. on that then so mm -hmm. now I pinned this yep. I've got it looks pretty good and I've got this extra fabric what are you mm -hmm. doing to the extra I do fabric? trim the fabric down to like two inches in the back three inches in the back I just tape it. Okay. I just <coughs> tape it. You, saw, you probably saw a piece that I had. I think it was uh, Angel's Guard, the ones we love. I just tape it across okay. know, on the bottom and on the sides. It's just to hold it, but I leave it pinned. Um, but I just now this piece it. of fabric. The reason, sorry, I'm getting my lesson from Kathy here. <clears throat> this piece of fabric mm -hmm. is just tall enough. And no, what is it? It's not this one. It's another one. Okay. But anyway, I'm only starting this far from the edge. I'm only starting that far from the you edge. You have enough. I'm thinking that's enough. You've got uh, enough. Okay. Yeah. Framers typically don't like that because it is, if, especially if they're going to be pinning or to, it's rough on it's the hands. One. Yeah. Okay. But as long as, and you can always sew on a piece uh -huh. of fabric or twill tape or something Long enough I for me to that. that. She had to sew some on. Yeah. To What's extend the bend over. Um, you don't want to have it right on the edge you want you do want to have something to turn over and pin into but you can sew something on to give you a little bit more working room okay with it. so i'm gonna like this fabric right that's, here that's fine kathy i'm gonna show you this piece of um a that yeah. came like this to me uh -huh. this tells me because of the orange stitching this is the salvage. side salvage mm -hmm. so i would normally think the fabric would run this way however it is just the right width to come in two inches on each side. Am I okay? You, you talked one time about fabric raining. You know, like the eight or oh, crooked. Am well, I okay even on linen. this? One? Yeah, it, that looks fine. That's what I'm saying. I turned it both ways. It's good enough for me. Yeah, sometimes but, uh, too, linen and Ada will look like it's raining. Like so, you have to decide when you look at your piece. Do you like that effect? 
And it's just because either the other thing too, it's just because of the weave, the way it's woven, or not all the threads are colored, but they're woven. Mm -hmm. So you have more of a definite rain effect to it. The other thing too is there's numerous types of ways to get color on linen and Ada. Either the threads are fully dyed and then it's woven, or it's woven and then dyed, uh -huh. which sometimes then you see underneath the thread mm -hmm. it's a little bit white, mm -hmm. or it's painted. And right. So the front will be different from the back. Mm -hmm. And some of these are not color fast, like the fox and rabbit one that I had here the other day, which I love, Doxberry. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to wash that when I'm done because it's just painted and it's not color fast. So I probably would lose the effect that I'm loving. Mm -hmm. So you have to be mindful of what type of linen or Ada am I working with as far as how did that color get there. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so I think you can see this closer. In other words, here's the selvage edge. Right. So in theory, this would be the top and you know run down this way. So this is how it should be stitched. But because of the width of the cut I got, you I'm stitching this way. way. And what I'm saying is, boy, I hope that's showing up. To me, these squares are square. There is something I stitched, a little piece I stitched for fall. Mm -hmm. And it is supposed to be a square piece. Okay. And I'm stitching it correctly. I've counted. But it <laughs> is coming out looking almost oblong. Oh, yeah. Because that's not mm -hmm. square. No. It's, and some linens yeah. are... The, the, 46 one way and or and 42 the other uh -huh. and this was or, a piece of ada but it yeah. is not uh, and it, yeah those, it wasn't square just something to be mindful of but, you know you can always count you can always take a tape measure a lot of people will do a test drive they'll stitch an inch of whatever they're working on and then find out how many threads there are to that inch both ways so okay. they'll stitch like a corner. But this one, when I did that little fall piece, which I'm 12 stitches away from finishing, but the reason I didn't finish is I held it up and it's like, that thing's not square. It's, it's more rectangle. It's rectangle. Yeah. And I counted and too. counted and counted and counted. I'm like, mm, yeah. okay. And then when I actually just looked at the material, you could see the it was wider than it was long. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, that's it happens odd. happens too. Something yeah, to so be mindful of for sure. So far as rambling. Yeah. Uh, we got to get back to dyeing at some point. I need some I fabric. Know. I and love if, the uh, fabric that we dyed. If some of you have a perfect <clears throat> beige and a perfect, I don't want gray like, you know, gray, gray, but I want that brownish gray, like a mix of that or something like that. Yeah. Or you have a brown gray mix or something. Please let me know what some of your favorites are. I did see that I could buy, and I think it was from Hollis Hands Creates, Duxbury and a salt bush and one other real dark one. I, I don't remember if from Fox and Rabbit. I'm tempted to buy those just because. Oh, yeah. But they look so. Fox and Rabbit had some pretty linens that Ooh, they were bringing out to yeah. Nashville. Real the, new. Karen, can I be your friend? <laughs> there, you talking about new? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because my thing is there. You know, Karen, can I be your friend? <laughs> oh, listen. And I heard they did Ada long ago, not. Near the you know uh, uh, this much Ada to that much linen, which I understand yeah. that's their business. But wherever I, I heard they had Ada, people said they carried their Ada, but they didn't have it in stock. They didn't, they didn't have, have it in stock. Didn't have it in stock. Yeah. So my thought is, mm -hmm. do some more Ada. Mm -hmm. You know, but and I think things are kind of coming around. I still think be, just go to a restaurant, go to a doctor's office. You know, they're short staffed everywhere still. It's, it's crazy. Uh-huh. And they, they still blame it on... Well, and Brent's dying that stuff. Yeah. It's not like they have a... No, that factory... Cast of thousands people. and they just run it through a yeah. machine or no, something. No, they're, he's they're, dying that stuff. Yeah, but. so they're busy. They're yeah. definitely busy. But did you read about them. their flight? No, but oh I was going to tell you, gosh. I did just see... And I didn't put this down as one of my favorites, but they have some new patterns. Yeah, some very pretty sampler patterns, too. I love them. Their flight on Quantum, mm -hmm. Australian... Airline, Qantas probably Qantas mm -hmm. was canceled like I don't know five times. They ended up having to spend the night in the hotel, and they didn't know when the that was oh. to Dallas. It, it was horrible, mm -hmm. horrible. And then too, on top of it, you know, she had her leg done a while back, and they lost just lost a puppy, one of their fur babies. So, so. is it this weekend? Is it the it, second? Maybe it is this weekend. Well, now that I, I have say got that, to know if they're flying I, already. I bet it is because she said she didn't know when they were going to get to Nashville. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, I think it is this. I think it is. Okay. So here I'm going to go right here, Kathy. Okay. Type in. Can you type yep. on a keyboard? Can I type it here? Yeah. Type in National Nashville Needlework Market. We're going to find out. It could be this weekend. Well, I'm excited. 
Nashville needlework market. If I may come up. Look, it's right there. It came okay. up. Oh, okay, you got the mouse. Cool. Oh, I got the mouse. So. <laughs> she takes two women to type. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how often I've done it. Three days ago. Oh, wait, that's oh, that not. Didn't say. Okay, hold on. Color and cotton. So now I got to look at color Three and cotton. Days ago. Wait, should I type in date? The that's what I was date? just going to say. Type or in date. date. You know I have a wireless thing. I could pull it toward me, but it's just one to three. Oh, my so, God, it's this weekend. Because my car class is the yeah. first. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm so glad I got my order in. I haven't ordered anything. Oh, I got goosebumps because I have some fun stuff. Oh, my God. Okay, we're rambling. Y'all have a wonderful day. <laughs> have fun stitching. Yeah, and, we'll be uh, back. Keep the comments and love coming. We appreciate it so much. I'm going to um, the cranberry bog. Those of you Bog. who shared that you prayed, uh, offered up some prayers for a good friend of mine that uh, is suffering, it's uh, not so good. Nah, nah, but you know that's why heaven was made, you know, kind of mm -hmm. thing. So anyway, uh, but thank you, and for everybody else out there suffering, and all there's enough of us who need some prayers, and uh, mm -hmm. please thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, okay. Looking forward to the next one. Yeah. Y'all have fun. Bye. Bye.